Thanks for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. We've got some mostly clear skies and some mild to cool temperatures across the region at this hour, right here in the uh, Fargo Moorhead area. 58 degrees, winds light out of the southwest at 7 miles per hour. Those winds will mean light and variable as we head through the morning, becoming a little bit southerly as we head through this afternoon and this evening, and remaining on the light side, 5 to 10 miles per hour with an occasional stronger gust. A little bit warmer off toward the west, 66 in Williston, 64 in Glendive, 53 in Bismarck, 52 Bemidji, and 55 in the Alexandria area. Some other temperatures a little bit closer to home as we take a look at those all in the 50s as well. 55, a, a common number of Devil's Lake as well as in Grand Forks, Deep River Falls, and in Roseau, 54 in Wadena, 57 Fergus Falls, also 57 up in the Bedette area. In terms of clouds, not a whole lot out there, just a few over in northern Minnesota and a few further off towards the west. Most of us, however, enjoying some mostly clear skies. We're going to see lots of sunshine once the sun rises here in the next little while, mostly sunny skies and warmer temperatures than we saw on your Monday. The green you see on the radar, just a little bit of interference with our radar. No precipitation out there. None anticipated for the bulk of the day. Late today, though, especially uh, late this evening and on into tonight, a chance for a few showers and storms moving into our western counties. And some of those may move across the region as we head through the day tomorrow. Maybe a few more tomorrow afternoon. That in response to this weak little system making its way through eastern Montana at this point. And then it'll continue to slide off towards the east. Expected to continue to weaken, but... Enough energy that we may see a few showers and storms again beginning in our western counties later tonight and through the rest of the region as we head through the day tomorrow. Lots of rain down off towards the south. They've seen it a lot this year and after a little break in the action, they're seeing more rain, even some flash flooding ongoing in and around the uh, Tulsa metro area. So some heavy rain down there for us. We're going to see quite a bit of sunshine as we head through the day today. We'll show you that on the hour by hour forecast. And here comes that weak system by the noontime hour later on today again mostly weakening as it moves on in, but it'll be a chance later this evening and on into tonight for a chance for a few showers and storms. We'll see some highs in the 80s in most areas as we head through the day today. May hang on to some 70s in northern Minnesota. Overnight tonight through the early morning hours tomorrow, a chance for a few showers and some thunderstorms. So will dissipate as we head through the early morning hours tomorrow. As we head through the day tomorrow, another warm one with a chance for a few pop-up showers and thunderstorms. About a 20 to 30 percent chance of that happening in highs once again on the warm side in the 30s. Precip, yeah, we'll see some. I think this model might overdo some of the rain we're going to be seeing on the uh, right along the Red River. But we will have that chance for a bit of moisture making its way through the region as we head through tonight and through the day tomorrow. Over the next seven days, we're going to see quite a warm up. After yesterday, most areas getting in only into the 70s. Today, the low 80s, mid 80s on your Wednesday with a chance for some showers and storms tonight and again tomorrow. Better chance for storms show up late Thursday on into Friday. Some of those storms could be strong and perhaps severe, particularly Thursday afternoon on into Thursday night. And check out the weekend. Hot. And at this point, it looks dry with temperatures in the low 90s. More storms possible late Sunday and on into Monday. Some of those could also be strong and severe. Stay with us. More of the Valley Today Ag Show comes up right after this.